in this video, I'm going to show you how Decroft runs the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, basically what I do is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks, different tools to help you get better, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in this game. So if you're looking to get better at Madden, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I upload new tips every day at two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, and eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I also live stream every night at 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll be live tonight playing on Xbox One. If you guys wanna come hang out, you're always welcome to play, get a game in. We'll be live at 10. Now, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. I wanna jump right into two plays in particular that D. Croft loves to run out of the U trips, formerly known as the U trips. This is out of the New England playbook, and uh, it's specifically out of the Y off trips pass. This has also been called U trips, and most Madden players know this as U trips in the past. One of the best formations every single year. Now, if you have questions about today's video, or if you would like to get more of a full scheme of the Y off trips pats go ahead and text me my number is in the top hand top left hand corner of your screen okay so a lot of people run either big nickel or 335 wide um and what we're going to do is show you specifically 335 wide mike blitz three this is a very popular defense and we're going to be showing you Y off trips pats now we're going to show you two plays in particular today the first one is Pat's slot out. It's one of my favorite plays in the entire game. And then the next one is going to be tight end whip, okay? So first and foremost, we're going to talk about Pat's slot out. Now, D. Croft, as a rule of thumb, will run his trip trips set to the wide side of the field. So if he was on the right hash, he would flip it. Because he was on the if he was on the left hash, he would run it as is. Now, the setup for this play is super simple. And it's really, really, really good um, against cover three. One of the things you'll notice about Decroft is he had a lot of really, really good plays for the cover three defense. As you see right here, cover three. All he's going to do, and this, when you run this offense, you definitely want to have either hot route master or a route chemistry on your left side receiver. Put slot apprentice on him. It'll make your life a lot easier. If you're in regs, then you might not be able to use this first setup, but you will definitely be able to use the second one. So all we're going to do is we're going to put Antonio Brown on this corner route. And then from there, that's pretty much it. Um, with the back, we can put the back on really anything that we want to. I like to simply just block him so that I have a little extra time. And then I'll slide my line opposite way. And that's pretty much it. And what you'll notice is this tight end will sometimes get over the cover three. Um, it's not 100% consistent. But as you see right here, and again, if we get throw out a sack, you do need time for this to work. That's why I would recommend, obviously, if you have the underneath, make sure that you take the underneath. Uh, whenever you have an underneath route open, you always want to be taking that. But what you'll notice here is as we run this, the corner route is going to pull the cover three zone. So the corner route is going to pull that cover three. You'll see right there. See how he sits on it? And then if you have a little bit of time, pass lead this up. And as you can see right there, that's a one play touchdown against the cover three, almost exactly like Decroft in the video. So... That is the setup from this play. Now, the way D. Croft would actually recommend running this, um, if this was him, is he would actually go ahead and instead of using the route, I actually prefer the route to Chris Godwin, but instead of using that route, he would put him on a drag route. So just so you know, that's kind of what he's doing there. Now, on backsides, you could run anything you really wanted to, but as you can see, if they're in a cover three defense and you throw this route and you have Gunslinger, that's going to be an absolute laser against the cover three defense. Now, Let's say that they might have been, you know, kind of mixing it up a little bit. And let's say that they played you in man-to-man -man coverage. And this is why Decroft loves this corner route. You'll see that this corner route is going to get outside leverage against man-to-man -man coverage. It's one of the really, I think, secrets that makes this offense so effective. That corner route will always beat man-to-man -man coverage every single time. And the reason why it's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage is is because of the alignment issues that U-Trips provides. U-Trips one of the only formations in the game where you are going to consistently get that right there. That animation is so powerful against man-to-man. -man. I cannot tell you how powerful that is. It is so, so effective uh, when people are going to run man-to-man -man coverage. 
Now, what a lot of defenses will try to do is they will try to put purple zones from their safeties. When they try to do that, one of the things that you want to make sure that you're doing on this play is throwing this on the cut if you see man-to-man. -man. So if they run man-to-man -man coverage, just throw it right there. As you see right there, it's able to get out there and able to be an immediate read for your offense. So I cannot stress to you how important that corner route is against man-to-man -man coverage. One of the other reads that you're going to be able to hit consistently, and this is where I just love this formation because of how much it does cause this issue. When you snap the ball right here, you see you're going to have about a five-yard head start, and as you can see, this thing is going to beat man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. It's one of the real secrets of the U-trips, and in my opinion, one of the really, really effective components of the play. And the next play that I'm going to show you is also a cover three bomb. It's actually a little bit better uh, specifically against cover three. So if someone's running a lot of cover three, if they're running a lot of cover three Mabel, or if they're running a lot of cover three invert where they're deep halfing, this is a really, really good play. All you're going to do is you're going to streak Chris Godwin. You're going to put Mike Evans in a comeback uh, on a, or a put him in on a comeback and smart route the route. And that's pretty much it. So this is why uh, you want to be using tight end whip for this. I apologize. So tight end whip. And we're going to put Mike Evans on that comeback route. We're going to smart route it. And then we're just going to put our back on a – we want to block him so we get that extra time. And what you'll notice is if they're in cover three, you'll see that this deep, deep safety over the middle will kind of take a false step. And you'll be able to hit this streak nine times out of ten over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, this is against people that are running cover three. A lot of people don't think this is going to happen, but this will completely glitch out the defense. It's one of the secrets to D cross offenses. If he's getting a lot of cover three – he will simply go to this setup right here, and this setup will literally force people to stop running cover three. They're going to have to do something else. But as you'll see here, watch this. Watch the corner. You see him completely glitch out. It's pass lead that to the inside. It's a one-play touchdown against the cover three defense. So that is how Decroft runs the best offense in Madden 21. If you want more information, I actually wrote an entire ebook on this playbook in particular. It breaks down over 300 pages with over 36 formations, including the U trips, but also covers trips, tight end, gun bunch, split close, ace slot offset, ace close, all of the powerful formations that are in the New England Patriots playbook. That link is in the description. It's by far the best offense in Madden 21. If you want to get more of this specific formation, I actually have over an hour of a breakdown on this formation that you can pick up in our text membership. Literally, all you have to do is text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was helpful. And uh, we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.